I have signed a proclamation designating a national day of prayer for our nation. But we're going to take it a step further and begin every week this month with a Monday prayer, song, or word of encouragement from some of our spiritual leaders. I encourage you to pray along with us and stay encouraged. And now please welcome Grover Wynn, who will lead us today. Good afternoon. As I stand before you this afternoon, reaching out petition to our Lord for help as we go through this uh, troublesome time right now. But before I do, I want to just read, read a few scriptures for you. It comes out of Psalms 20, verses 1 through 9. And it's a Psalms of trust, which is this particular time I feel like we really need to rely on the Lord for trust. But it says, The Lord heard thee in a day of trouble. The name of the God of Jacob defend thee. Send thee help from the sanctuary and strengthen thee out of Zion. Remember all thy offerings and accept thy burnt sacrifice. Grant thee according to thine own heart and fulfill all thine counsel. We will rejoice in thy salvation. In the name of our God, we will set up our banners. The Lord fulfill our petitions. Now I know that the Lord saveth his anointed. He will hear him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. They are brought down and fallen, but we are risen and stand upright. Save, Lord, let the King hear us when we call. Scripture tells us that the fervent prayer of a righteous man, a righteous person, is very strong. As the chief was talking about prayer, prayer is so important now. Be earnest and uplift and stand and, and uh, ask our Lord for the help that we need at this time. So let us pray. Our most precious Heavenly Father, as we come together before you today, as a servant and a vessel of yours, I ask a petition of you for our nation today. Lord, I also ask for any forgiveness for any unknown sins that I may have had before I issue this petition to you, Lord. Lord, I ask that you, I ask for a petition, I ask for prayer, I ask for strength, and I ask for courage and safety for our citizens, for our nation, Lord. Lord, I also pray for our chief, David Hill. I ask for strength and peace and wisdom, just as the wisdom that you gave to King Solomon when he asked. Lord, I also ask that you give honor upon these decisions and help him in his decisions as we go forth. Lord, I ask that you give him the strength of Samson as he has to make some of these decisions, these hard decisions. I ask that you give him the courage of Apostle Paul as he goes forwards and faces the upcoming battles. I ask you to give him a wise and kind and understanding heart through this crisis. Lord, I ask, I also pray for strength and wisdom and peace for our second chief, Del Beaver, as he stands beside our chief, as they make decisions that greatly affect our nation. Lord, just give them again the understanding and the guidance that they need as they go forth. I pray for the Speaker Randall Hicks and the National Council as they stand beside him and make these decisions. I pray for the administration, the ones that are still working in our nation as we go forward, Lord. I also pray and ask that you give strength to the ones who are right in the middle of the battle, our health department. I ask again that you give them wisdom as they go forth and give them all of the understanding and all the guidance they need. Lord, as we go forth this time, I also, I also call out to you for the protection for the blood of Jesus upon our people. Lord, you told us in Exodus, showed us in Exodus that the blood of the Lamb above our doorposts would allow no destroyer to come into our homes. Today I'm pleading the blood of Jesus upon not only our homes, but the portals, the entryways of our nation here to keep any destroyer from coming into our nation. Lord, I ask again, as we go forth, that you be with our chief and second chief, our nation, our people. Be with our elders, be with our youth, be with our veterans. Be with all, Lord, and just help us to remind you, to remind ourselves that you are the source of protection and health as we reach out to you. This petition, Lord, you have said that I have but to ask in the name of Jesus. And today, I am standing again here as your servant, your humble servant, petitioning you for help and strength and direction and protection. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 